All right, we're gonna do some backyard shit. We're squirting a little can inside this car, the backyard way. You see, I have a little can here. It's just not a, a whack off can, uh, but it's a bigger can and I'm gonna do it vapor like somebody would do a can with no scale. I'm not gonna weigh nothing. I'm just gonna, well, this is one that has a leak. It was sold by a used car dealer and they put a compressor on here, but I found a leak at, under the dash. Uh, so it's not important. Uh, previous videos just before this I released, he got it from LA, drove up here and AC stopped working. Okay, so let's, uh, let's open up the low side. I'm gonna control the refrigerant flow from the fourth port right here. And as you see, look at my sub going. Look at my superheat. Just watch those numbers. Suction line temperature, 60 degrees. That's right here. Now I have a hot exhaust manifold right here. Actually, let me slip, flip this all around because the heat off of this hot exhaust manifold, oh shit, I just burnt that. See that? I was laying on the, the manifold so hot it just crispy frittered my uh, wire. So we got several hundred degrees coming off of this exhaust manifold here. And uh, it's radiating heat onto my gauges. So I'd rather hit it over here. My sensor is over here on the back side, so I don't want my sensor to be on the same side as this hot exhaust manifold. So let's um, let's do a little squirtability. Now look, we have 200 PSI. And uh, I'm going to open it and I'm gonna just guesstimate. Let's see, let's just do a little of that. You're gonna see that go, oh well. No, nothing happening there. Let's do a little of that. Hey, wouldn't that be good if we opened up the container? So now let's do it. Let's do a little of that. I'm squirting some in there. It's just vapor going in the low side. I wanna do a little more. I wanna just guess. I, this, the, the AC is not working on this. It's coming out like 70 degrees out the dash. I'm just doing a little experimentation here. I tested the refrigerant. I was really surprised to find out it had 0% air and it was actually R134. The, the, um, whoever the used car dealer used to uh, get this working to give it to the customer didn't squirt any BS inside there. See what I'm doing? I just want to see what's happening here. I'm giving it a little time to stabilize because I add refrigerant in the low side, let it stabilize. I'm trying to see if anything changes. This is an expansion valve system. Okay, at 230, the high speed fan comes on. And now I got a little sub cooling going on there, where before I was basically at zero. And were we 30 over here, 23 or 30 like that? Check it out. As the refrigerant slowly stabilizes and equalizes through the system and starts chilling the evaporator, take a look at what's happening. Did I use any scale? No. Do I need any pressures? No. All I'm looking here at is the subcooling. I brought up from basically almost zero up to 12. And when I did that, the superheat dropped from somewhere around 30 to 20 something and is down to 18 right now. And uh, the suction line temperature, you see it's no longer 60, it's 57. 
This is one of those vehicles that don't quite follow the rules. Oh yeah, we got cooling now. We must be down in the 50s now. High 40s, 50 something, it's, it's nice. You see we're in a sun load. We're baking the interior. It's black interior on a dark silver gray black car. Uh, you can't bake it anymore. This nice black plastic dash gets really hot. And so let's not look at this. Let's look at this. Superheat. Well, the only reason I'm doing this one, I kind of know this one. That's why. Uh, all right. I'm going to stop right there because I know I have a leak out the dash. And that might be a, what caused their old compressor to burn up before because there was no, uh, if it burnt up or leaked out the front shaft seal, who knows? Maybe somebody squirted so many bottles of uh, refrigerant in it, it blew out the front shaft seal. All right, and this car calls for one pound, one ounce, 500 grams. Nice and cool. So we actually have some super heat sub cooling going on now from where before we were around zero is going between zero and three. And it's actually cooling out the dash now. But I know I have that leak in the evaporator. And I just did this experiment to show you that a little bit of something about superheat and subcooling. I didn't want you to look at any pressures or anything like that. And that uh, once I got on this vehicle, some vehicles are different. There's vehicles that have zero superheat or 0 0.3, 0 0.7 and hover between that and one or two. And then there's other vehicles that have a superheat of 30. And then same goes for the subcooling. There's vehicles that have a sub uh, superheat subcooling of um, say five or six and then there's other vehicles that have 37 and then there's vehicles that are all over in the middle there is no rule of thumb of saying which vehicle is what because of the different kind of compressor systems pulsating fan systems uh, variable displacement compressors all right so that's it nothing exciting other than all I have to do is look at this to know I got it close inside there, but close is not good enough. And uh, that's why I'm gonna recover this back out now because he came up here with air conditioning not working and he has a leaky uh, evaporator. And I'm gonna go see if there's a whole bunch of rat material. Cause I see the rat or something ate up all this and I wanna see if he made a nest inside the air filter for the cabin air filter. All right, I'll see you guys.